According to the Guinness Book of World Record, the greatest robbery in the history of civilization was masterminded by the late Philippine president, Ferdinand Erdogan Marcos, and his wife, Amelda. They allegedly stole five to 10 billion from the country. We say allegedly because they were cleared of all charges in October of 1998. So how did gold figure into this? Marcos placed the Philippines under martial rule in 1972. A year before that, his first and supposedly only term was about to expire. He padlocked Congress, ordered the arrest of political rivals and left-wing activists, and ruled by decree. He took over all the media companies and all the businesses. The majority of the wealth he allegedly amassed is stored in Swiss bank accounts, real estate, stocks, tons of gold bars, and more than 3,000 pairs of shoes. In an interview in 1992, Imelda Marcos went on record stating that the majority of their wealth actually came from their gold investments. They own a lot of gold bars, but got it through legal means, they say. She said her husband bought gold bars when it was still selling for $20 an ounce. So they must have bought tons and tons back in the 1960s, which really doesn't make sense if you listen to the story. 40 years later, they had 35 billion worth of gold. Yes, 35 billion. Industrialist Enrique Zobel disclosed Marcos had 100 billion worth of wealth in his name, and part of it was the 35 billion in gold bars. He said that in deposition before the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee at the Philippine Consulate in Honolulu between October 27th and October 29th of 1999. It's not surprising, Ferdinand Marcos is known for his intelligence. And it wasn't surprising to hear that Marcos invested in gold. Current Philippine president, Rodrigo Duterte, said that Marcos has indicated a willingness to return a still unspecified amount of money to the country and a few gold bars to help ease the government's expected budget deficit worsened by COVID-19. The speaker for the Marcos family firmly stated the Marcoses did not steal those assets. They are assets that they made via strong investment strategies. We at Noble Gold Investments, we don't know about politics. We don't know where this supposed wealth really came from, even though we probably have some idea. We do know that Melda Marcus is telling the truth. They use a classic investment strategy and it's called time. They bought gold when it was still trading at $20 an ounce and they sat on it for decades and it paid off. Making billions using sound investment strategies is not impossible and we can help you when it comes to precious metals. Taking over a country is not part of our expertise and, and we won't even get, go down that path, but investing in precious metals and crisp, in cryptocurrency, that is our thing. If you're interested in investing in precious metals and you wanna to talk to a no hassle representative that has experience in physical metal, give us a call. Phone number is 877-646-5347. Our phone lines are always open and we're happy to answer any of your questions.